Okay, I want to say hi again everybody and welcome to another video, uh, art video, okay, drawing, I'm going to be doing some drawing, okay, digital drawing. Um, in this video I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to basically start doing some rough sketches of a uh, um, practice sketches, basically just practice sketches of figures and stuff. And um, because I've got another cartoon planned, okay, a new cartoon in the works, uh, this ninja cartoon thing, I know that I need to uh, get some, basically, some ideas uh, of, of, to practice. I mean, the look of this main character and the way. That I'm going to draw him and the figures in the scenes because I want it to be pretty rough. I want it to be pretty rough and simple, really. So, first thing I'm going to need to do, I think, is um, see. The problem is uh, with me, I always got to. I've always got to like think of scenes, like what's going on in a scene. You know what I mean? It's like uh, let's just imagine. Okay, let's just have this guy one way or another here. We're gonna have a classic tree or something in the forest, and he's he's hiding behind a tree or something like that. Okay, so he's holding on to the tree. I have the hand here. No, not that. Okay. Uh, let's have one shoulder slightly dipped down. We're gonna have this shoulder about here. Put this here. Um, Point should be about there. Mm, this is one of them weird ones. I've done the head a bit too big. Gonna have that about there. They are going to be back down there, obviously. It's one of them goddamn cheating ones, I think, here because. Hmm. Yeah, this is a weird one. This is a very weird one. Uh, I think right, I want to say a bit of advice to people also. Okay, look, if you're not if you've not been drawing for a while, you need you're gonna, you find yourself going to be rusty as well. I'll say that. Okay, you really will. I've learned this. I've learned my lesson definitely. Cause and what it is right, there's different ways of drawing and stuff. Fair enough, you know. But okay. See what the thing what I always get. Okay, is. I draw the head of a character. I do the body. It's just say this is my way, okay? I'm, I know you can do it this way with the neck and the body and this or whatever, you know. Uh, this will be here, then the body bit, then you got the um, pelvis and the hips and all that and the knees. I know all that. I understand what you're saying. There's spine up there, you know. There's your face and everything. I understand all that. Okay, I do understand. All right. Hands there, okay. Probably the best one I've done all night. <laughs> I'm just saying, when I do it, I just do like a head and a body. Uh, I'll even just do a big one and then just do the legs in whatever position I want to have it, okay? Let's just say he's on his knees praying, don't kill me, please. <laughs> For example, hey, looking up, please don't kill me. In his funny hat. I'm just saying, but what I'll usually have, my issue, what I'll have, my problem is this, okay? When I, I usually start off, right, so as you can see, this picture here on the left is looking pretty 2D. Pretty 2D, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter if you've got somebody here talking to his friend over a cup of tea or whatever it is, you know. Or the other guy's standing there reading his newspaper or whatever it is, you know. See, these, I like to do these, like, fast sketches and stuff. To be honest with you, they work fast. But you can still see this thing is... 2D. So is this okay? It's like 2D, like it looks flat. Right? Every scene like that. Come on. Right? So you want to have like different angles, right? Where you start with the body first, and, the, and then the head, whatever it's going to be. Okay. You, see what's this? What am I doing here? You're holding a. Uh, um, I don't know. Holding two swords here. Whatever the hell he's doing. Okay. I mean, muscly guy. Whatever. You know, whatever it's going to be, man. See, but again, I've got this goddamn 2D thing going on. This is what I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's here, flat. You've got the trees, you've got the houses and stuff. But it's a fucking 2D goddamn sketch. And I'll draw, usually I'll draw over these sketches, you see. What I'm trying to say is, I have this problem where I draw a person. I, I have this problem where I draw a person here. Not only is it kind of like almost too goddamn, you know, 
2D for starters, like that's in the angle of it and everything. See, look, you know, not only that. Okay. But also, you know, also, okay, and I'm there and I'll draw the figure and everything, you know, and I'll draw the hat or, you know, whatever it's going to be. But not only that, okay. Then you get down to this bit. Whether you draw the waist on as a second thing and then do the legs. Or if you just keep it there as part of the body and just do it and imagine where the legs go and from there you just work it in then then you draw that that part in however you do it i have a problem where i have to think of where the motherfucker is going to be standing so like here you might think oh richard's done a pretty good job it's not too bad you know okay he's got the guy's feet there you know okay okay it's fine it works okay yeah it works okay yeah it works okay yeah no it don't fucking work okay because you may think that's okay, like you're standing here, I can imagine, okay then. Okay, then we can have some shit over here, we can draw some houses in the background and he's the Terminator, he's gonna look for the motel number fucking one. He's gonna go in there and blow the fucking doors in, right? <laughs> you can imagine whatever the hell you want. But what I'm trying to say is the whole thing, like, okay, unless we say, unless we say, fuck this goddamn setup. And you go like this, and you like turn the whole perspective of this bitch. You know, that's the only good damn way I can see around this shit. If you've got bad perspective, you're gonna have to draw these 2D figures in. In, um. Draw these figures in complete flat space, basically, like that. And then turn the perspective. That's probably like one of the only ways. But how is that a way? That's not a result, because in my opinion, right, even if you say, okay good I got it you know there we go we've got our fucking spaceman in his astronaut helmet okay two eyes on the front here and you say right, you know or whatever it is okay headband on I don't give a fuck right and you say there he is in his space helmet okay there's the shoulders okay you know and there, there he is you know he's got his gun and he's got then you draw the gun in properly and everything and you you know do the body and everything and then you do the, these, uh, you know, like he's in that perspective, you know. And you say, right, and then you draw the ground and everything. And from here, obviously, we're going, you know, whatever the fuck it's okay, you know. And you've got the ground across there, you know. You know what I mean? You know, and he's in there, he's in, you know, and he's, he's, he's in here. And we've got the door there to the space chamber. You know, got whatever the fuck we're going to have on here, okay. You know, do not enter or whatever, you know. No, no, no go zone or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, all this shit up here, you got the space, the space hatch. This door leads out to fucking cyberspace or whatever the hell, you know. Okay, and you got these windows here. And you see planet Earth in the distance flying. There's the guys in space. And you just get rid of the back thing, right? You can do all that. You can do all that. No problem with that. But the problem is... It's a rough way of doing things, motherfucker. Because the reason being, the reason being because, you know, I can. What I'm trying to say is, is if I if I do a figure, and I say, okay, there's the guy, man. Yeah, I want this guy to be holding his goddamn katana sword like a fucking warrior, man. You know what I'm trying to say? He's right there, and the guy's there, and he's got his arm flying out the back because I don't even know what position to put it in. For now, and I, I'm here, and the guy's here, and that fucking guy's here, you know, and oh my god, he's like, fuck me, his eyes are looking up there, ready for his opponent, or whatever the fuck, you know. and you say, that's there, and you say, that's there, and you go, and you say, right, I got my position, and then you say, okay, right, the sword's too long, fuck this shit, and you put a bit long, a bit shorter, uh, and you just go like, you know, and then from there you say, okay, now we're going to change that, you know, the angle of it, the camera angle and everything. So we're going to have it like this. Because we want to have a different kind of angle. Or maybe like he's on the bridge and he's looking up at the fucking snow clouds with the fucking ninjas jumping out the clouds. He's looking, he's looking up high at the fucking temple tops, wherever the fuck he's looking at. And you say, look, there we go, got a different brand new camera angle. You know, and you say, I'm going to have that angle here. You know, and you can do all that. Or let's say, let's say we do it a different way. Okay, let's do it a different way. And we go like this, and we say, okay, let's have it. We're looking down on the guy, right? 
Sorry, look down. Sorry, I had to stop the camera there, but let's just say, okay, we're looking down on the guy there, you know, and the guy's there, okay? And you're like, what the fuck? And you say, right, I'm going to turn this this image here, if you can just about see what he's doing, I'm going to turn that into a 3D. If you were to say that, if you were to say, you turn that into a 3D, and you zoom in there, let's say, for example, and you go in, and the problem would be, the problem would be from here, you can, you can work with it, but the problem would be the actual visualisation. The problem would actually be the visualisation of this thing in the first place. You see, now I'm, I'm using this as a guide, but the, but the problem is I'm working from a flat thing anyway. Anyway, you know, I'm working for a flat, flat thing anyway. And I'm changing a few things as I go, as I say. You know. I put this guy in a beard or whatever, give him a big nose, make it some funny guy, okay, eyebrows here, he's looking up at the sky, some old guy in a, some kind of helmet or whatever, oh, sorry, um, headband or whatever, you know, okay. Okay, And it, but the thing is, it, it works okay to a point, it works okay, but to a point it don't work, it don't work too well. Because, and the, the point being, I'll do this here, see, his arm's a bit too long though, and I'm just going to put that there roughly. It works okay to a, to a point, but don't forget we're supposed to be looking down on this guy from this angle, right? Another thing is I think that hand's a bit too, um, I was a bit too long. But, uh, the um, wrist, the, the fucking length of the arm. That hand. But what I'm going to say is, the point is, okay, See from here now, ah, see? From here, see we're supposed to be looking down, right? So you're gonna, you know, draw the guy's feet with a fucking angle there. Okay, you know, drawing it properly in, like properly in, like, you know, legs. And they're getting smaller down there anyway, because, you know, we're looking down, you know? And you may say that looks okay, but then you get rid of the back line, see there? But what I'm trying to say to you is, Okay, uh, is from here. Is see we we understand. You see, what I'm saying we un we understand. If we go on top of that, I can understand that these are like rounded legs. The body is rounded. You see, what I'm saying it's like you know cylinders for the legs. I understand what I say. I understand something round if it's not a flat object. Okay. But you know, but what I'm saying is, like, so I understand, you've got some depth to it, you know. But what I'm trying to say, my point is, the sword's a bit long, I know, but I'm saying what my point is, right, is we understand this will be here, let's say the ground, okay. And he's, we're looking down, like, let's say, you know, let's just say, um, we got the ground, you see, we're looking down, aren't we, you see? You know what I mean? We, we understand that, right? So if I have some kind of fucking towers here, they'd get smaller as they go down, let's say, you know? We see the tops there and they go down. You see what I'm trying to say? I don't understand that. I fucking understand, right? And then you get a fence or something over here, and you understand that that goes down like that. And on this side, the same thing, you see? And you've got that going down like that, see? Like that, right? And you'd understand, right? This might be a round one, it doesn't fucking matter where, which way it goes. It, we understand that we're looking down, you know, with the, with the perspective, you know. You see, on the ground, you may have the gates up here, whatever the fuck, he's going to go through the gates. In the distance, you've got the castle, or whatever the fuck, okay. But what I'm trying to say to you is, okay, it would be better if you had that plan in the first place. Rather than thinking of this thing as a flat object, I'm just doing this for my own study here, okay? Rather than thinking of that as a flat object, okay, let's do two of them just very quickly. If I move one over here now, and we go to the, the, the under one, and if I change the perspective to be like, you know, like this, okay, we're just dealing with a flat thing, aren't we? You know, we're, you know, we're looking, um, you know, uh, down so to speak on an angle see I can get the angle I can move that across yeah move that across go on top of it and then understand 
then understand that this is a rounded shape actually so the eyes would be about here let's say let's just say right the face would be there you know what I'm trying to say right you know we'd understand that this is a let's say a block so to speak you see what I'm trying to say I think the shoulders would be here right you'd understand see and they get smaller as they go down because it's like because of perspective the legs would be here see you'd understand you'd understand that okay you know Please excuse me for my terrible feet drawing there. You see, you get rid of the back one there, so you'd understand all that. But what I'm trying to say to you is, okay, my point is, look at this first one for a minute, okay? Wouldn't it be better to stop, what I'm trying to basically say, wouldn't it be a bit better to start off like that? You still got to practice drawing in 3D, I think. So rather than thinking this is a flat circle and I'm gonna turn it round, you should already think in 3D, like this is a 3D thing. You see what I'm trying to say? Like here, see, these are balls, and then these are the cylinders. You see, whether it's a stick figure or not, I'm just saying. See, you see, imagine the perspective. The guy's got a, a headache, maybe, or let's say, um, you know, he's, he's he's been reading a book and he's got a headache because he's been, you know what I mean? Because he's uh, reading too much, or you know, what I'm trying to say this would be there. See a ball again and that'll be there you know and it, he just he's just trying to run away from the library but he's like still got his book in his hand so to speak you know what I mean and it, that, that's what I'm saying so I have this problem myself when I'm trying to draw so not this <laughs> I have this problem when I'm trying to draw you yeah, get a headache yeah so I'm just saying you know we could do a picture like that you know I could do you know, an actual guy, you know, or let's say someone with a headache, you know, flip that for a second. You know, I think I could be like that, you know. Just do, a, just do a really rough cartoony one just for now, you know. So, you know, some guy. A guy who's got a damn headache, you know what I mean? You know? And he's got his book there and everything, you know. You know what I mean? And he's holding his fucking book right there. This is not supposed to be a work of art, but I mean a massive, amazing, a magnificent uh, piece of art. I'm not trying to do that, okay? That's got to go behind there. You've got to imagine where the shoulder goes, see? It's about size and things like that. That's not a round shape, it's just the body. The waist will be there, obviously. You've got this here. You know, the, the feet would go around. Okay, he's got a headache because he's been reading too much, let's say. You know, that'll be there. The knees, you didn't make, I'm just changing things a little bit there with the leg, okay? You see what I'm trying to say, though? So you can imagine that there. And as I say, I'm not the best at drawing uh, human figures anyway, so. I'm going to turn that around, see? And get rid of that back image. And we got our rough thing there I see as such see but you see how we start from a 3d even looking at that now though that still looks too flat to me it still looks too flat as fuck to me it really really does it just got a flat feel about it you know what I'm trying to say it's just something about it. it's like so you've got to get used to drawing you've got to get used to drawing in fucking 3d minus set you know what I mean now what I'm trying to say is sometimes it works better when you draw the scenery first you know Sometimes I find it works better. Sometimes it works better when you start to draw the scenery first. So let's say I'm, I'm drawing a fucking, um, the ground will be here, let's just say, really roughly, okay? And we do that there, and we go, okay, right. I'm gonna draw a fucking bench here. Okay. And I'm gonna draw a fucking bench here, in the middle of nowhere. And I want to have this as, as the, our, our place, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, we're going to make this up, and we're going to go... This is, is this is the room... You know, this is the waiting room at the fucking train station, or whatever the hell it is, okay? It's somewhere, it's a room, okay? And then you say, okay, let's change it a bit, let's have a big window there, or whatever the fuck, right? You know, we've got a window here. And we've got a piece of paper hanging up, which is the fucking 
train times, smaller so you can't even see. Got a door there, okay sorry, that door there which leads out onto the main platform overlooking the tracks and then there's another platform over there and across in the distance you can see another train with passengers walking on the platform to get on the fucking thing right. Over here in the back you've got another big window. They're safe for people, for fucking jobs to, and drunkards to look through onto you. Like they want your money. And you, you've been working for fucking nothing all day anyway. So they fucking con you shit in this little down age, isn't it? I mean, yeah, you've got tiles on the floor, you know what I mean? You've got a few things there, a bit of dog shit and that fucking spread up on the wall. Okay, there you go, right? You do that, you get rid of the back one and you just bring that down, right? You know, and then you say, right, now we've got a setup for some figure positioning. You know what I'm trying to say? Right, so you say, right, we're going to have a guy walking through the door, you know, or oh, what the fuck we're going to have. And you go, you go, alright, I'll draw the guys back here, and the guys in about as small as a fucking peanut. From here now, you're going to say, how the fuck am I going to draw a leg that long when we want to just see the front of it? You say, don't bastard, just do this crosses for the knees, or circles, whatever they're going to be, that hangs down. There you go. Yeah, you, know, you can do a cross here for the hands, where they're going to be, another the elbows back down there, shoulder. Don't fucking worry about it, and just put it in, he's reading a fucking newspaper. Okay? And then from there, that, that, that goes up to there, isn't it, about there. You know, and then that's that. The guy's letting you start learning from the stick figure. Guy's arse on the chair. Okay? Guy's a fucking arse on the chair. Right, blue, right, blue. Right, right. Me, and then you do that there, uh, you gotta like start to learn about, like, you know, how the fuck to draw a goddamn motherfucker. And you just you just put it in as though you was having a good time with it, you know, and we just work it out until you get the idea of how to draw this motherfucker. And you start to erase the stick figure bits underneath. And so eventually you've got some motherfucker sitting there. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, blood? Do you know what I'm saying, bruv? Because, uh, because it's a sketch, we can just start changing things anyway. It's only the rough first sketch. Just make that bit bigger because it looks a bit small, don't it? It's like a retard. Get that fuck off, right? Get it off, blood. Just say that is blood. Okay. You might say, shit, I want another one of them guys. So let's have some arsehole. Let's have some arsehole looking out the window. Yeah. And this arsehole is going to be looking out the window. You see, I'm going to do it all on one layer. There's some arsehole here, right? Looking out the fucking window. You know, there's some fucking arsehole. He's just got his, he's got his hand on the fucking win hand on the thing. Like you're talking to someone on the phone. I'm just doing it, roughly sketching it now. You see what I'm saying? Not even just doing the stick figure or something. I'm actually, actually doing some of the actual drawing as well. You can see, and you start to become better at, at what you're doing. I'm not actually doing a good job. I've noticed that I do different pictures different. That line that I've just drawn there almost looks like his fucking arse crease. I'm not trying to fucking do that. I mean, okay, but you got the thing here. And what this guy is doing, I was standing by the window, is he's fucked off, he's waiting for his train, he's in a hurry, and he's talking on the phone to someone, you know. And he's talking on the phone to someone, saying, I'll be there in a minute, I'm just waiting, the fucking train's been delayed, you can't. You know what I mean? Be fucking delayed again. It's like they give you these apologies and say, I'm apologizing for shit in this day and age, right? So, yeah. Um, how, so that phone's got to be against his ear. His hand's got to be holding the phone. His arm's got to be back down there. And the guy's on the, on the fucking phone. You know? And it's just how the fuck you're supposed to draw his arm. And you've got to imagine it all in 3D. So, you know, it's one of them things. So you can imagine how much of the back you want to see, and how much of the fucking front you want to see. So the arm will be there. I'll raise that bit. Fucking it. Until eventually you get the idea of it, or you'll just puke and just delete the whole thing and be fucked off like us. Like I do a lot of the time. Go in here, you gotta go zoom in because you're just doing yourself a fucking headache. Trying to under it. Right, the shoulders here. Shoulder. Okay. 
which should be attached to an arm, right? The arm should be about here. So, um, okay, so I'll get rid of that bit. And then the, the back bit behind the thing is the, the actual arm. The sort of bottom bit of his arm holding the fucking phone. But just like that, it's how it looks. It's a little bit weird to me, mate. Let's do it another way then. Okay, let's do it over there. Move it over here. Do the line over there. Put it back right now. Looks about fucking dog shot right now, but still, we're going to keep it there. Alright, let this guy stand in there. And why does his arm look like that, you say? I don't know, fucking for clue, mate. His arm looks a bit weird, doesn't it? And you say, well, yeah, but. You know, I'm not a master fucking artist, dude. You know. And there you go. And you just end up sketching away until you've spent hours and fucking hours trying to do just a simple picture there. Someone here might be in a hoodie, this guy, who knows, you know, standing in a fucking hoodie. You know, he's in a hoodie, right? The guy's in a hoodie, standing there. You know, he's like a thug or what is he? I don't know, he's, he's talking to his mate about, shall I mag mug this guy or what? You know, two guys in the fucking train station. I could start going in there and erase and shit. I could go right in here and erase these areas to make these cunts part of the picture. Like, erase all that shit behind him. He's like actually in the train station. You see what I'm trying to say? Just to make that uh, understood, you know. And uh, you know, there you go. You get a bit fainter, maybe. Merge them down, you know. And you get yourself a picture, you know what I'm saying? Once you zoom in on that and not give a fuck about it, you can just do that, you just zoom into it. Cut it out, crop. Simple as pop. Zoom in. And that could even be your starter thing. And if you wanted to, you could go over it. You could zoom in, go on to another layer. Have a fucking pen of your choice. You know. You know. And you could start drawing him in his funky hairstyle, the guy. You know, it could be a fucking bush punk, fucking whatever the fuck hairstyle you want to have. You could have two fucking eyeballs here. Oh yeah. Whatever you'd want to have, you could have it, mate. You know what I mean? So, but you blow your brains out with this kind of crazy shit. Thanks for watching. Don't blow your brains out. <laughs>